I have a saying that, well, in Jamaica we have a saying that every baby is a blessing, right? And also, don't throw away any of them because you don't know what that child's uh, purpose is and what they are here to do, right? I myself, personally, I don't believe in abortion. I do believe in a woman's right to choose. It's her body. So I'm not going to be championing for any laws that should make it illegal, right? But at the same time, it's a personal choice for me, and that's one of the reasons why. Because if I was to encourage the women who got pregnant or the woman who got pregnant for me to, say, abort my children because I'm not ready and all that other stuff yet, then I might have abandoned or aborted the next neurosurgeon that was going to eradicate Alzheimer's, dementia, you know what I'm saying? I might, it's something huge, you don't know. Anyways, a baby that was abandoned in a dumpster now controls a $62 million company. It's his company. He's not working for somebody. But hear this great story though. This is just a feel good story, okay? So it's, it's not about who you are or what circumstances we were born into. It's more about what we do with the time that we're given. This seems truer than ever when you take a look at the marvelous story and how an abandoned baby grew up to become a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist. There might be some parallel with Bruce Wayne, Batman, and Tony Stark, and Iron Man here. I don't know if you've ever seen those movies. 30-year-old Freddie Figures is his name, and he's currently the CEO of a $62 million company that he started when he was just a teenager. But hear his story. He also holds four patents and has been dabbling with technology and inventing new things since he was a very young boy. Which just goes to show that it's not about being born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but rather anyone can do anything if they have enough grit, enough willpower, and enough discipline. This is what he said. Hear this out. So he was born in Quincy, Florida, right? And as soon as he was born, he was abandoned. His mom took him, put him in a dumpster, as soon as he came into the world. He was then adapt ad adopted by Nathan and Betty Figures, which were older people, right? He was just two days old. Now he is the founder and CEO of Figures Communication. Freddie Figures, Figures Communication. Not hard to tell that it's his business. Figures has been inventing and innovating things since his childhood. When he was nine years old, right, he got his first computer that he fixed up and got working. He, his adopted parents bought him a computer, but the computer did not work. And they were not rich and they were and, and when these computers came out this is before YouTube how to fix it days and all that other stuff right so it was one of those big heavy clunky computers it didn't work and he fixed it at 12 years old he was already working as a computer technician at 12 years old what's more at the age of 15 he started a cloud computing company and when his dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, he built a shoe with a GPS tracker in it and a two-way communication system in the shoe. I could pick up the phone and say, hey dad, where are you at? And he doesn't have to do anything. Just lean down and walk into his shoes and I can track his location. Because you know, people with Alzheimer's if they're lost, they're lost. And they might look around and not recognize anything around them, even if it's somewhere that they're very familiar with. And that's one of the things about them, is they'll have these moments where, oh, I wanna go outside, I wanna go down the street, I haven't went walking in a while. And four houses down, two houses down, it hits them, and then they look around and they start to panic because everything around them looks new. They've never been to this place before. This is a neighborhood they grew up in. They're now in their 80s. 
They've spent the last 60, 70 years in this neighborhood. And just like that, it's a strange place, right? So it's not like you can call them and say, hey, where are you at? I'll come pick you up. They, they, they're panicking. They can't describe what's around them. And they're only two houses down. And in a panic, they can actually start walking further and further and further away from home because they don't remember that their house is only two houses that way. And now they're all the way in another neighborhood. So this invention from this young man right here is something very significant. They haven't found a cure for Alzheimer's and dementia yet, but tracking your loved ones definitely can help, right? I could pick up the phone and say, hey dad, where are you? And he doesn't have to do anything. How sweet. Just lean down, walk into his shoes, and I can track his location. Figures told the media, that program was very successful. And I had a company reach out to me out of Kansas, and they bought the program from me for $2.2 million. It was with that $2.2 million, a year later, he used the money to start Figure Communications. Truly inspirational indeed. At the age of 24, he had built and designed 80 custom software programs at the time he was 24 years old. Besides having a brilliant mind and an incredible work ethic, he also has a heart of gold. Listen to this story right here. New cell phone is a life changer, a lifesaver. He said, right, and this is his company, Figures Communications Corporation, in Tallahassee, it's a parent's dream. A cell phone that will not distract the driver or allow the driver to text while they're driving. The Figures X1 called the lifesaver. This is what he invented here recently. It's called the lifesaver. It's a unique cellular phone with a built-in feature that prevents texting or the ability to receive or send messages when the car exceeds 10 miles per hour. Florida and other states have now passed laws that prohibit texting while driving, but summer continues to be the deadliest time of the year on these roads with teenagers. The inventor of the Figures X1, Freddy Figures, says, all the laws in the world will not change behavior, but the Figures X1 can. Figure is a 25-year-old technology whiz. He is now 30 years old, so he invented this five years ago. He's a technology whiz, born in America. He holds a FCC license spectrum, making him a telecom carrier like all the major brands. Americans love brands, but we provide a better phone, better accessories, greater bandwidth, a phone that is practical, personal and a lifesaver for half the price of all the major brands. We cut out the middleman and still guarantee a quality product. The Figures X1 anti-texting mechanism sends the caller a message saying, I'm driving. Drivers can retrieve their text and voice messages when the vehicle stops. Wow. Figures genius came to light as a nine year old when he repaired a broken computer his father purchased at Goodwill. At 13, the Quincy, Florida native became a celebrity when he began working for Net Quincy repairing computers for the city and citizens on the, in that small town. And since then, Figures, an independent African-American entrepreneur, had launched numerous technological innovations that are affordable life-saving and a good way to improve your quality of life. The Figures website can be found at www.figures.com and it is loaded with his patent pending products including Vitalware which remotely monitors the wearer's vital signs and their location in real time. Caregivers who want to more closely observe functioning of their loved ones can do so with Vitalware. Wow. Yeah, and I can see how this is driven by his dad's condition, right? But I can also see how this is going to be something major. Here's an active role in his community as well. 
He sponsors youth football programs. He offers college scholarships to high school seniors. He pays senior citizens' bills in his town. And he helps to bail homes out of foreclosure. I believe caring into action, turning caring into action. And if you see a problem, find a solution to deliver an impact to change someone's life, he said. I'm going to impact this world. And I'm going to change today for a better tomorrow because money is nothing but a tool. But with that tool, we can impact and change everyday people's lives with opportunities. All right. And again, like I said before, please go and check out his. You can find him and his inventions at www.figures, F I G G E R S. That's his last name www.figures.com Look at this. Look at God at work. Thrown in a dumpster. Thrown in a dumpster at birth. Immediately after he was born. Found, brought into care by the system, and quickly adopted at two years old by the figures. A family, a husband and wife couple. I don't know if this family has any other children. It does not speak about Freddie having brothers and sisters or anything. But even if that was their only child, this was their blessing in disguise. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely is going to impact the world. He already has started. He already has. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. It's SoFlo TV, man. I'm out. Peace.